Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can solve statistics on the TI30XS multi-view calculator. To do this we'll be using the second function key that looks like this located here as well as the data key with the second function of stat that looks like this located here. For this example we'll be using this data set here 60, 20, 10, 10. To start, we need to enter our data set into our calculator. To do this, we press the data key, and that'll bring us to a screen with three lists on it. If you have something on your lists already, like here, you can clear your list by pressing the data key again. That'll bring you to this menu here, where you can choose to clear list one, list two, list three, or if you scroll down, clear all. That's what we'll do so we can clear all of our lists at once. All right, our lists have been cleared and we're ready to enter our data set. We'll enter this data into list one, which is the first list on our left. So our first variable is 60 and press enter. And you see the 60 appears in our list. Next is 20. Enter, then we have 10, and 10 again. Our variables have now been entered, and we can press clear to exit this screen. We're back at our main screen now, and if we want to calculate our statistics, we press second, and then the data key, and that'll bring us to this menu here, where we choose number one, one var stats or one variable stats, which is what we're looking for in this example. And then it'll bring us to this menu here. Well, our data is in list one. That's what this first option is asking us. So we highlight the L1, press enter. Then we have frequency. This is helpful when we have some variables that occur multiple times in our data set. In this example, we've entered all our variables individually, so what we want to do is use the one option there, highlight that, press enter, calc will then be highlighted, press enter again, and it'll take us to our results. First we have n equals 4, which is the number of variables in our data set, which is correct. If we scroll down, we get x bar or mean equals 25, which is correct. Scroll down again, and we get large sigma x, or sample standard deviation, which is 23.8047, etc. If we want to find our sample variance, you highlight number 3 and press enter. You'll now see the sample standard deviation on the screen, and then if we square that with this key here, the x squared, and press enter, we see we get our sample variance. This is giving it to us in a fraction, and if we want that in a decimal, all we use is the left and right key here to get our sample variance of 566.666, etc. If we want to go back to our statistics, we go second data again. We now see we have a third option in this menu, stat vars, which allows us to quickly return to our stats. So we can either scroll down or press 3. And if we continue scrolling, we see we get our population standard deviation of 20.6155, etc. And again, if we want to get our population variance, all we have to do is select that, press enter, and square it once it's on our screen. And we get a population variance of 425. We can go back to our stats again and continue scrolling down. See we have a sum of 100 and a sum of squares of 4200. Continue scrolling and we'll find we have a minimum value 
a first quartile, a median value, a third quartile, and a max value in this list as well. If we have a data set with variables that occur multiple times, like say the 10 in our example, and we don't want to enter them all individually, we can use the list to and frequency option to do this. So if we go back into our data, and here's our data set, and we'll just clear that for now. And we want to re-enter that, but we don't want to list this 10 multiple times. We want to just be able to put that in there once. Well, we can start entering our data. So 60, enter, 20, enter, and 10, enter. There's all our unique values. Next, if we scroll to the right one, into list two, we can enter our frequency, or the number of times each variable occurs. So 60 occurs once, so we press one, and enter. The 20 occurs once, so again we press one, enter, and we see the 10, which occurs twice, so we enter that as a two, and enter. Now we can clear out of this again, and this time, if we go into our stats menu, and again, choose one variable stats, again, our data is in list one, so we'll press enter on that, but when it comes to frequency, we entered our frequency as list two, so we wanna scroll over to L2 for that, and press enter, and enter again for calc. And, here we see one variable stats using list one and list two, and we're getting the same result. But we only had to enter that 10 in once. So that's helpful if you've got a bunch of the same number that occurs in your data set and you don't feel like entering each individual one. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.